Hello guys, in this video we will try how to override a template. The template we are targeting is in the contact page. So what we targeting is this template and this form, uh, specifically this form. So let's go ahead and start it. Uh, first of all, if we look in the vendor Magento and then module contact, contact, and then we look in the view and from the view, we will look in the form. So we are trying to override this template this form .phtml, which lives inside module contact view frontend templates form phtml so first of all what we do is create something in the design so we have this package or this design this theme sorry and this theme has nothing in it uh, we created it from the last tutorial so we are going to override this template in this theme so the thing we're going to do is we create a directory called magento uh, contact and this magento underscore contact will correspond to the magento contact module if we look at the registration file we can see this is a magento contact module and we will override the theme in it which is in the view front end templates and form HTML, PHTML. in the design we create the theme the component which is the module magento contact now what we are going to do is we don't go through front view front end and then templates we just write templates straight away so because this is in the design and we just write the directory template and from there we can just copy this file paste it here now once we paste it the thing we're looking for is we hide or we remove the telephone field so we just delete that in the in this folder now we should see when if we reload we should see this will disappear because we don't need all the business decides phone numbers are not necessary and then we just want them to have their name your customers will have their names and emails and then what they have in their mind or whatever now we refresh we can see the field is gone and then you can submit a form contact form without a phone number to be added so this is one way to override the template this is from the design theme the, you go for this solution when this is is specifically for a theme change and is not a module doing something but you can also override this template in the module rather than a theme so if we can try we can say you either override the template from the theme or from the uh, module if we try a module so we have already got a training we have the contact we create the same name training contact and then etc module.xml then we go on to module and then the name will be training contact now we have this because this module depends on the magento contact contact so we will have a sequence and then the module will be magento contact and this way we explicitly say this module training contact depends on this module which is magento now we will have the registration file registration file will be a php file registration then we write the registration and should be training contact as well so this is the module being created now we will need to override this template now if we go to create a folder called directory called view frontend and then templates inside templates we will go to the file and copy it now paste it in here now we paste in this template the change we are requiring or we are doing is not to remove the telephone but rather we need also another text below this so what we can do is uh, inside a div, a div and then we can say strong lorem uh, 10 10 words now this is what we want to do but if we run setup upgrade this will will not work because this is there's no instruction saying use this form phtml in the contact page instead of the original one or instead of this one now this one is being used because this is what it overrides the uh, original template so we are not specifying any instruction on this one to make this template to be used instead of any other template now to do this we need the layout file so we will create a file called inside the layout uh, directory and it's called contact index index 
dot xml and then we will have module uh, uh, layout instruction here we will have body and then we will have reference block the one we are targeting is called contact form and the template we will need will be training now we instructing the magento to use this template instead of the original template or overridden template uh, or the override the, the template that override the original one we will say this will be inside contract contact if i write it correctly and it will be form.phtml now what we saying here is this form if we go to the module and if we go to the layout there is a contact index index and this form is called this block is called contact form and the template is form phtml which is the inside the contact magento contact uh, module which is here this one so it's using this one as a template for the contact form but then in the theme we override it and then we put we remove the phone field from the contact form now we are doing a different approach from the module creating by creating a module and then we say this form phtml this is the template inside this one we want to use instead of the original one which is set in the magento module which is the magento contact module now this will be used instead of the other one instead of this where is it this one and instead of this one which is inside the theme because this will have the instruction in the layout ignore the one being set originally for the contact form and use this template and ignore the one or the template in the contact form now if we run setup upgrade to install the module setup upgrade now the setup upgrade is done if we just refresh now you can see the phtml template the form phtml template comes from the module we created now we have this lorem ipsum in strong text and the phone number is already in there now you can see what takes precedence or what is been used is when you have a theme and you overridden this template and then remove the phone field that's fine it will work just fine now this module came in and made a layout instruction to use this template instead of the one magento uses or magento module uses and it just added this strong text to it in this way this will be invalid because this is not loaded anywhere and even if it's loaded it's not it's just been looked at and then magento figure out wow there is a, another template to use instead of this because there is a reference block called contact form which is matches the one in the contact module and it tells it it tells magento hey the template we are going to use now is different from what magento module or magento contact module uses we want the one sits inside the training contact and this form is being used now this override will be ignored because this is in a theme and it depends on what it depends on the on the one in the magento in the original one but this is new one this is a custom one we are just created and it will override everything and have the layout instruction to tell it to use the one we have just in here we are going to ignore everything and use this one to override this though we just copy this or we just create a new one we just create a training contact and then we have templates of course templates folder and now we copy this one and put it in here just paste it and then we move we remove the phone where is the phone this is the telephone so we just remove this one and now it should work as we expected because we don't want the phone number to be used now we have this one is used from the training contact and is not from magento contact sorry the training contact and is not from the magento contact in this way we have the correct override and this is the two ways of override a template by using theme or using a module i hope this is helpful and i see you in the next video